back here at Elizabeth High School. We'll give you the starting lineup here for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. The Fort Morgan starting lineup is brought to you by Cargill Beef. Cargill Beef is committed to feeding the world in a responsible way by reducing environmental impact and continuously improving products and processes. Learn about Cargill's story of commitment at www.cargill.com. So starting lineup tonight for the Fort Morgan Mustangs will be senior T.J. Bauer, junior Nate Gertner, sophomore Tate Kimball, senior Joey Snyder, and senior Eric Kimball. Introducing the non-starters right now for the Elizabeth Cardinals. I talked to uh, Coach Unrein earlier, uh, just here before the game got started, and his players are all back healthy, but he said he had been fighting the flu all day, so we'll see if he can make it through the game tonight without having to leave or get sick, so... Now introducing the Fort Morgan lineup. And let's see, starting for the Elizabeth Cardinals will be uh, Jason, it was Jason Gavitt. Paperwork here. That was starting for the Elizabeth Cardinals will be Evan Vesaki, followed by senior Stuart Eric Urich, excuse me. Junior senior Aaron Stone, senior Jacob Gavitt and senior Tyler Immel. Head coach for the Elizabeth Cardinals is Mike Boss. Assistant coaches Jim Wilson and Frank Messenger. Head coach for the Fort Morgan Mustangs, Chad Unrein. Assistant coaches Harrison Chisholm and C.W. Scott. The opening tip is brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance with two locations in Brush and Fort Morgan. Ingmeyer Phillips can help you with your home car, health, or life insurance questions or needs. So we'll see who I believe Joey will Snyder will jump for the Mustangs and he will go up against Jacob Gavitt, a 6'4 senior. And Elizabeth does come away with the tip. Swinging around over into the corner and first turnover is by Elizabeth as Vasaki loses it off his hands and out of bounds. Elizabeth will come out with a full court press as now Brian Almanza is going to start tonight in place of Nate Gertner. So a correction there. Get the ball up across half court down to Almanza. Almanza deep three is off the back rim and no good. Rebounded by Gavitt. He brings the ball up court. 6-4 guard, basically. Now a three from the corner is going to be off the back of the rim and no good by Urich. Eric Kimball with the rebound. Cross court to Bauer. Left corner. Now back to Almanza. Back to Bauer in the left corner. His three is going to be up and good for Bauer. Start the Mustangs off right. With a three from the left corner. Now Urich tries to pass underneath and knocked out of bounds by Joey Snyder. So the Cardinals will inbounds right of their basket on the baseline as Gavitt looks to get it in, gets it into Urich. Now back underneath, but it's tipped out by Eric Kimball. So Cardinals again to inbounds. Lob in to Gavitt is up and no good. Rebounded by Almanza. Gets it over to Kimball for a three. And that is up and good for Kimball. So a good start here for the Mustangs. Back-to-back threes. Tipped out of bounds by the Mustangs. 
as the ball was headed underneath. Joey Schneider tips it out of bounds. So Elizabeth, the inbounds left baseline of their basket. Stuart Yurich gets it in. Himmel holds it out high. Now back to Yurich in the left corner. We're going to have a foul call, and that will go against T.J. Bauer. Team first. Person, his, uh, his first. Now Elizabeth inbounds once again. Baseline as they try to get it in. Taken away, though, by Eric Kimball. He looks to get it out. Gets it out to Tate. Tate drives it down into the right corner to Bauer. Eric Kimball now to Tate Kimball. Will jump from the right baseline is up and no good. Rebounded to Gavitt. Gavitt's three is up and no good. Rebounded though and up and in. That's going to be good for Immel. First two points of the night for the Cardinal. Six to two with six minutes to go here. First period of play. Now Monza now picks up his dribble to Kimball at the free throw line. Shot is going to be up and no good. Rebounded go by uh, Joey Schneider. Puts it up and in for his first two of the night. Eight to two in favor of the Mustangs. And it looks like they will have a 30 second timeout so we will keep it here. So a nice start here for the Fort Morgan Mustangs up eight to two as Kimball has hit a three, Bauer a three. And Schneider just put the rebound back up for a two. For the Cardinals, Immel with a two. And Elizabeth Cardinals from three-point land are shooting at uh, 35%. And that's where they've been trying to, most of their damage is right here so far is early on here so they get the ball in deep court now it's going to be taken away by Almanza picks it up Bauer for a three from the right is uh, no good rebounded though by the Cardinal shot is going to be up and good by Gavitt for two now Kimball with it out on the right corner. They'll have a reach foul on Elizabeth. And I believe that is going to go on Gavitt. That will be his first team first. So the Mustangs inbounds to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball's going to run it into the lane. His shot is going to be blocked, though, taken away by the Cardinals as Jacob Boss now has the ball into the right corner. Kick it back out. Now it's going to be over here into the right corner to Vesaki. Up and no good. Rebounded by Joey Schneider. Taken away. We're going to have a jump ball called as Tate Kimball and Vesaki go down to the floor. Possession arrow to the Mustangs. Tate Kimball to inbounds. Just short of mid-court as they get it in to Schneider on the left side. Joey Schneider's going to take it to the rim. Under, up and under for Joey Schneider. Nice job along the baseline by Schneider. 10 to 4. Lob up. Nice block by Schneider. As he blocked Visaki. 6-5. Senior. Tate Kimball down the left baseline. He picks it back, pulls it back out. Eric Kimball now out hides. He keeps his dribble alive. Gives it off to Schneider. Back over to Kimball. Back out high. Tate gets his shot blocked again. That's by Immel. Going in there amongst the Giants. 6-7. Tate Kimball comes in at 6 foot. Had a 7 inch advantage there. So Yurich all the way in. Hands it off and up and no good by Visaki. Rebounded though by the Cardinal. That layup is going to be up and good by Aaron Stone. 10-6 so to six in favor of the Fort Morgan Mustangs with 3.43 to go here in the first quarter of play. Ryan Almanza drives it in. He's going to 
We're going to call an offensive foul, I believe, on Brian Almanza. Tough call there. So Schneider comes out along with Bauer. McBride comes in. Uh, let's see if I can see who else is. And Gertner come in for the Mustangs. Cardinals make a couple of substitutions as Christian Gautaro comes in. Pass, oh, not, oh, it looked like a nice clean block by McBride. They're going to call a foul on the shot, and that will send Vasaki to the line to shoot two. First foul on McBride. Three team fouls on the Fort Morgan Mustangs. One on the Cardinals so far. Free throw is up and good by Vasaki. He's averaging 60 percent at the free throw line. That one's off the back of the rim and no good. It's going to be knocked out of bounds. I say off of Elizabeth. So Fort Morgan ball as they get it into Tate Kimball in the back court. Elizabeth is backed off of their full court pressure as the Mustangs get the ball in. Pass over to Tate Kimball out on the high right wing. Larry Kimball from the left elbow is off the rim and no good. Rebounded though by Elizabeth. As they get the ball down, shot is going to be up and good by Gavitt. 10 to 9 now for the Mustangs. Little layup is going to be up and no good, but it's going to be tipped out of bounds off of McBride. Harris Huff into the game for the Mustangs. Brian Almanza will get a breather. With 2.53 to go, the Mustangs up by one, 10 to 9. Mustangs haven't had much opportunity here for the full court press and did not employ it on this time down as they have the ball off to Boss. Back to Boss. Picks up his dribble, looks to get it underneath. Going to be a travel call on Jacob Boss, a 5'10 junior. So nice defense by the Mustangs as he couldn't find a place to pass it, and then they ended up calling him for the travel. Harris up all the way from the right side, and that shot is going to be blocked, but there was a foul on the drive on the shot, so that will send Harris Huff to the line to shoot two. First one is up and good. For Huff, he is um, 43% from the free throw. and hasn't been there too many times, but sitting at 43%. Back up to a two-point lead now, 11-9. to nine. Next free throw is also up and good. Looked like looked, uh, good shots from Huff. Nothing but net on those. Now Fort Morgan do press somewhat. Going to get it over here into the corner. Stepped out of bounds as he went to sl as he uh, took a step, and that was Gautaro. Now Fort Morgan to inbounds with 2:18 to go. We look to uh, Elizabeth looks to press as they get it up to Nate Gertner. He gets it back to Eric Kimball out high. Eric Kimball now to take Kimball left elbow, kicks it back out to Eric. Now to, it's going to be underneath, oh, off the hands. McBride ends up throwing it off of Desaki and out of bounds. So possession, Fort Morgan. Gertner and McBride come out. Schneider and Bauer come back in for the Mustangs with a minute 55 to go here. First period, 12 to 9, Fort Morgan. Little jumper from the right side is up and no good by Schneider. Rebounded by Stone. Now a long three is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Joy Snyder. Now there's going to be a reach foul on the Cardinals and that will go against Immel. His first, team second. They have three. It's 
Fort Morgan gets the ball up court. Harris Huff, his bounce pass, though, is going to be knocked out of bounds by the Cardinals. So Fort Morgan inbounds left of their basket. They get it into Got it into Bauer, and his pass was taken away. And now a foul down here on this end of the court as they will send Gavitt to the line to shoot two. That foul was on Bauer. That will be his second. So Gavitt's first free throw is up and good. Five points on the night for Gavitt. Gavitt is their leading scorer, averaging 21.3 points a game. Minute 21 to go here in the first period of play. Free throw uh, throw no good, rebounded by the Mustangs. As Tate Kimmel tries to take it all the way down, but his shot is going to be blocked and out of bounds off the Cardinals. Brian Almanza comes in for the Mustangs as Harris Huff comes out. It's a nice job by Huff as he was in there you get the ball into Kimball now to Tate Kimball now Mons out on the left wing is going to, the ball is going to be taken away and Boss comes down court going to be knocked out of bounds though by Tate Kimball Cardinals to inbounds mid court as they get it in to Godero Nice defense here by the Mustangs. Gets it off over out high to Jacob Boss. He'll get it to Immel. Immel now. Nice give and go. Saved by the Cardinals. Looked like it was going to be taken away by the Mustangs, but the Cardinals take it away. Now all the way in and up. Rebound is going to be no good. Rebounded go up and in by Immel. So that ties it up at 12 with 20 seconds to go. Brian Almanza has his shot dropped out of bounds by Aaron Stone, a 6'5 senior. Shots are going to be hard to come by in the paint with the height of these uh, Elizabeth players. So four more going to inbounds. Baseline left corner. Tate Kimball to inbounds. Get it into a Jesus Reyes. His three is up and good for Reyes. That puts the Mustangs up 15 to 12 with 10 seconds. We're going to call a reach foul on Eric Kimball. He hits first. Fourth team foul with 7.1 seconds to go period one as Gavitt looks to inbounds. Gertner comes in for Kimmel, or uh, Kimball, excuse me, Eric Kimball. So they're going to look to get it in. They get it into the corner to Immel. Down to five seconds. Nice job out there by Jesus Reyes. Layup is going to be up and out. And that shot will not count on the rebound. So the Mustangs lead at the end of one, 15 to 12, on B106 and B106.com. Started the second quarter here. The Mustangs up 15 to 12. Elizabeth with possession of the ball. But there is going to be a foul called, I believe, away from the ball. And that is going to go on Immel. That will be his second. Something happened in the lane, I believe. That's where he was trying to get posted up. But he was called for the foul. So two on Immel. Bauer picks up his dribble way out high. Gets it off to Almanza. Almanza way out at the point. Gets it back to Bauer. Kimball, Kimball, Eric Kimball now for the three up and no good though. Oh, nice rebound by Joy Snyder. As Stone had it go through his hands, but Snyder was there to clean it up. Six points on the night for Snyder. Now they're going to call an offensive foul on Elizabeth. Must be on a clear out. And that's going to go on Immel. That will be his third. I'm not sure what happened there. He must have been an illegal screen there as Stone was trying to come to the basket. T. 
Pete Kimmel down with the ball as he brings it up across half court. Gets it off to Eric. Three-point range. He backs it back out. Now to Joy Snyder. Left high wing to Bauer. Now back to Kimball out at the point. They look to run there. Offense. A three by Tate is up and no good. Finally uh, knocked out of bounds by Elizabeth. So Fort Morgan to retain possession. They will throw it in baseline left of their basket. As Bauer looks to get it in. Up to uh, Joey Schneider. But he said he was fouled on the play. But nothing called. Elizabeth comes away with the ball. Three ball is going to be up and no good by Urich. Rebounded by the Mustangs as Tate Kimball gets it down court. There's going to be a reach foul on the Cardinals. I believe that will go on Urich. That will be his first. Six team fouls on the uh, Cardinals. Five on the Mustangs. As they get the ball into Eric Kimball. Dribbles around way out high at the point. Left side over to Bauer on the left wing. Now back out to Kimball. Kimball into the lane. Passes it back out to Tate. Now cross court to Bauer. Little jump from the left side is going to be short and rebounded by Gavitt. Now Urich takes it into the lane. Kicks it back out. And that is going to be up and off the back of the rim. Rebounded though by Urich. Tried to get the ball underneath. Knocked away by Eric Kimball. Possession Elizabeth as they will inbound right baseline of their basket. Rear looks to get it in. And left wide open on the left side. And they're going to call a foul on on Eric Kimball. I didn't uh, see that. But Jacob Gabbett will go to the line to shoot two. So Eric Kimball with two. We'll see if he comes out here shortly. It looks like Trey McBride will get ready to come in for the Mustangs. First free throw is up and good for Gavitt. Six points on the night for Gavitt as Eric Kimball will take a seat. And so will Bauer as Trey McBride and Nate Gertner come into the game for the Mustangs. Next free throw is up and also good. 17-14 Mustang, six minutes to go, first half of play. Tate Kimball all the way down, he tries to get his shot, is going to be blocked. It looks like it's going to be a foul on Urich, that will be his second. So that will send Tate Kimball to the line to shoot two. So Tate Kimball... First free throw is oh, bounces around and goes out. Tate Kimball on the year is at 67%, but misses that first one. Next free throw is up and good by Kimball. First point on the night for Kimball. As Elizabeth now gets the ball down court. They're going to have a foul call, I'm sure, on Joy Snyder as he tried to cut Visaki off as he was driving the baseline. So that will put the Mustangs at the one and one limit. So Visaki to go to the line to shoot a uh, one and one where Visaki was one of two earlier in the game. So we're having a yeah, they finally get the ball off to Visaki. His free throw is up and off the front of the rim and no good. Rebounded though by Elizabeth, by Stone. Now to Gavitt in the left corner. As they pass it around the perimeter to Urich, now into the lane, back out to Urich. Little jumper is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by McBride. Lob pass out to Tate Kimball. Nothing called as Tate Kimball goes down. Now Monza back out to Schneider, over to Tate Kimball for a three from the top and that is up and good by Tate Kimball. 21-14 Mustangs with 5.20 to go. Almost taken away by the Mustangs. Going to have a foul called I believe on Joey Snyder, his second. And Ryan Schaefer, a 5'9 senior. 
goes to the line to shoot a pair. The first, oh, excuse me, it wasn't on the shot. It was a one and one is away from the ball. And get the Urich out high at the point, being guarded by Gertner. That should be out of bounds. I don't, yeah, it wasn't touched. I didn't think it was touched by Schneider. So the ball goes over the head and out of bounds. So we're going to take a timeout with the Cardinals here as the Mustangs lead 21-14 to 14 on B106 and B106.com. As we come out from this halftime, the Mustangs up 7, 21 to 14. A three from the left corner by Kimball is up and no good. Re rebounded to the Cardinals now as Yuri from the paint takes it up and no good. Rebounded by, by McBride. He gets it out to Kimball, Eric Kimball. His layup is going to be up and no good off the uh, side of the rim or, and bounces back out. Now Yuri all the way down, kicks it out into the corner to Gavitt. His three is up and no good. Rebounded by Kimball. There's going to be a reach foul, and I believe that will go on Visaki. We'll see if that's who they... Evan Visaki with his first. That will send Eric Kimmel to the line to shoot a one-and-one. One. Kimmel on the year is at 72%. First free throw is up and good for Kimball. Four points on the night for Eric Kimball. Three ahead of a three in the first quarter. And now this free throw. Next free throw is up and also good for Kimball. So the Mustangs. Five of six so far from the free throw line tonight. Up nine, 23 to 14. Fort Morgan with their trapping defense. Back over to Visaki in the right corner. Visaki gets it back from Boss. Now to Urich. Now it's going to be underneath the stone. Little up and under by Stone is going to be good. Four points on the night for Stone as Tate Kimball gets it off to Almanza. Nate Gertner drives it into the lane. Now off to uh, Almanza. Gets it underneath to Trey McBride and it's going to be kicked out of bounds by Gavitt. So Harris have to come in for the Mustangs. Nate Gertner to take a seat. He might be giving Gertner a little extra time tonight. Out of the lineup, he was sick last week, so maybe not feeling 100%. So they have a five-second call on the Mustangs. They did not get the ball in. <clears throat> so turnover by the Mustangs. Elizabeth, two take possession now as they get the ball in deep court. With Boss bringing it up. Gets it into the corner to Urich. Now the layup is going to be up and good by Stone. Tate Kimball all the way into the lane. Kicks it back out to Almanza. Almanza for a three, and that's off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Gavitt. As they get the ball up court. Kicks it off to Urich in the right corner. Now he drives it in. Could be a hand check somewhere here. I'm not sure who it's on. They're going to call that on Huff. Be his first. So that will send Yurich to the line to shoot a one and one. Nine team fouls on the Mustangs. Eight on the Cardinals. First free throw is up and good by Yurich. So he will earn another. Yurich on the year is a 78% free throw shooter. So Yurich back to the line for foul shot number two off the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded though by Vesaki. Vesaki is a 6'5 senior. They get it underneath the stones. Going to be off of Bowers. He knocks it out of the hands of Aaron Stone. So Vesaki takes a seat and Goddero comes in. Now they're going to get it in. Steal by the Mustangs. Now it's going to be taken back by the Cardinals. Now it's going to be... I think they're going to have a foul called. Let's see if that's going to be on McBride. Can't see. They'll put it up on the board here in a minute. We'll see who it is. And that is on Trey McBride. His second... 
So to the line, the first three throw up and good is Gavitt. He was fouled on the shot. Joey Schneider into the game. McBride takes a seat. 23 to 20. 3 4 to go here in the first half of play. Next free, next free throw up and bounces around and in for Gavitt. Tate Kimball gets it up across half court. Tate, er, Eric Kimball tries to drive it to the bucket. His shot is going to be off the backboard and no good. Urich over into the corner, drives it into the lane, taken away by Joy Schneider. Nice jumping steal by Schneider. Now a three by Kimball is up and good. Tate Kimball this time. That's the second three he has had in this period. Mustangs now at 5, 26 21. Shot is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Joey Schneiders. He gets it out to Bauer. Bauer gets it down to the center. Going to be to Harris Huff. Huff is going to be called for the travel. So the Mustangs up five, 26 21, with 2.22 to go here in the second period. So we have Tate Kimball and Eric Kimball on the floor. Joey Schneider, T.J. Bauer, and Harris Huff on the floor for the Mustangs. Going to be a steal by Eric Kimball. Gets it to uh, Bauer. Deep three is in and out. Rebounded by Stone. Brought up court by Boss. Stone now with it. Kicks it off into the corner. Now gets it back. pass underneath. Now it's going to be kicked back out as they pass the ball around here. They're trying to get the uh, position underneath. Trying to get uh, Aaron Stone a position. Now behind the back pass and off of Stone and out of bounds. So Gertner being for the Mustangs. Huff goes out. Mustangs still with a five point lead. 26-21 with a minute 39 to go here in the first half of play. Kimball to Snyder. Now to Bauer. He drives the left baseline. Up and good by T.J. Bauer. He goes right by Stone. Seven point lead now for the Mustangs. And there's going to be a foul called on Joey Snyder. That one's going to be three on him. So he'll probably come out. As that will bring Austin Carl into the game for the Mustangs. Send Gavitt back to the line where he is... Five of six so far. Four or four here in the second period. That first one is up and good. So Schneider comes out. Austin Carl into the game for the Mustangs. Austin is a six-foot sophomore. So Gavitt perfect from the line here in the second period of play. Six points. Tate Kimball gets it off to Carl in the left corner. Now to Bauer. Not to Kimball as they slow it down here a little bit. Mustangs up 5, 28-23. Bauer now to Gertner. Gertner over to Eric Kimball on the right wing. Drives it all the way in. Now it's going to be underneath to uh, Gertner. And his little layup is up and no good. Rebounded by Gavitt. As the shot is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Gertner. He's being guarded in the backcourt. Does get it out to Tate Kimball. Kimball takes it all the way down the lane. They're going to call an offensive foul on Tate Kimball. So that will be his first. Let's see. They're going to get Brian Almanza back into the game, but not quite in time with 35 seconds to go. The ball is into Gavitt now underneath the stone. And his little layup is going to be up and good by Stone. Eight points on the night for Stone. Ball knocked out of bounds, but Fort Morgan will retain possession with 25.8 seconds to go. Up three, 28-25. Eric Kimball will come out. Brian Almanza into the game. So we'll see if the Mustangs want to run this down to the last shot. Which I'm guessing they probably will take Kimball out at Almost mid-court with 15 seconds to go. Being guarded by Galderot. 
cross court to Bauer with five, six seconds. Now five seconds. Bauer for a three is off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Gertner, and there's going to be a foul call. Nice job by Nate Gertner. See, you got position on Gavitt. So they will call the foul on Gavitt. Two on Gavitt. So Nate Gertner to go to the line to shoot a pair. His first free throws tonight. First one is up and good. Mustang's doing a nice job here in the first half of play. Only missing two free throws so far. Or just one, I'm sorry. Gertner with his second. Does miss that one with one second. Now the ball is going to be thrown all the way down court. And no good. So at the end of the first half, the Fort Morgan Mustangs lead the Elizabeth Cardinals 29-25 to on B106 and B106.com. Back here at halftime of the boys game where the Mustangs lead 29-25. to Both teams back out on the court warming up, getting ready for the second half of play. The Fort Morgan Mustangs hit five threes in that first period or the first half of play excuse me Bauer with one Reyes with one Tate Kimball with two and Eric Kimball with one and the Elizabeth Cardinals have not hit beyond the arc tonight all of theirs will either come from two point land or from the uh, free throw stripe so see if the Mustangs can come back out with the same intensity that they had uh, in that first half of play, though, we're just going to have to keep an eye on Joey Schneider. He has three fouls, and Eric Kimball with two, and McBride with two, Bauer with two, so we'll have to keep an eye on their fouls, and they can't afford to lose uh, any of those if they want to try to come out of this with a win tonight. Everybody is essential in this lineup tonight. Looks like the starting if they had the same starters that they had to start the game and that was uh, Tate Kimball, Brian Almanza, Joey Schneider, Eric Kimball and TJ Bauer. We'll see if that's who they come back out with us here as the clock winds down to start out the second half of play. The Mustangs will have possession to start this second half as Tate Kimball, Eric Kimball Brian Almanza, TJ Bauer and Joey Schneider into the game to start this second half to play for your Fort Morgan Mustangs as they get it into Kimball Joey Schneider now to Bauer in the left corner kicks it back out to Kim- Eric Kimball out high now to Almanza that point Picks up his dribble now, gets it off to Tate Kimball out on the right wing. Picks up his dribble now, it's going to be a turnover and taken away by Urich. Ball is tipped but taken away by Stone with Boss. Now Urich has it. Visaki now back over to Boss, back out to Visaki. They're looking to get the ball underneath to Stone. Nice block out of bounds by Joey Schneider as Boss tries to take it up. Nice control, body control, so he didn't pick up foul number four. Stone in the right corner now, cross court to Visaki, back out to Urich. Urich tries to drive it down all the way now. He's going to give it to Stone. His little layup is going to be up and good by Stone to start this second half of play. Kimball now to Snyder. Snyder from the right side. Up and good for a two by Joey Snyder. Eight points on the night for Snyder. 31-27. Four point lead for the Mustangs. Elizabeth now into the right corner. Yurich now underneath again to Stone. Shot is up and good again by Stone. Yurich drives that baseline and then well, looks like Snyder must have Turned an ankle. If he stepped on somebody, that was after, well after the shot. So McBride will come in for Snyder. Snyder hobbles off the floor, grabbing his right ankle area. Could be a high ankle sprain. We'll see what they 
come out with now is the Mustangs with possession of the ball. As they get it under uh, Trey McBride. Nice job by McBride to hold off Gavitt. McBride's first two points of the game. And Jurich takes it up court. Now to Gavitt. Now it's going to go underneath the stone. Taken away by the Mustangs. Nice job there by Eric Kimball. Take Kimball with the spin move. Brian Almanza picks up his dribble. Now to take Kimball. Take Kimball for a two and add it off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Stone. He gets it out to Boss. Boss takes it up against Almanza. Now over to Yurich on the right high wing. 33-29. Fort Morgan tipped away by Eric Kimball as he gets it back from Almanza. To Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball loses control of the ball though. Gavitt down court to Stone. Layup is up and good for Stone. Six points in the second half for the Cardinals all from Stone. Two point lead here for the Mustangs. 33-31. Bauer gets it to Almanza. Almanza for a three. Now it's going to be well short. As Gavitt gets the rebound. He brings it up court. Kicks it off to uh, Visaki. Now back to Gavitt. Yurich on the high right wing. Five minutes to go here as they get it underneath. It's tipped away though by McBride, but taken away. And the ball, they're going to give the ball to the Cardinals. You can see it was off of Almanza as Almanza and Yurich both go down right in front of the scorer's table. No foul called. So Gertner comes in for Almanza as they get it into Visaki. High right wing picks up his dribble, being guarded by Bauer. Now the Cardinals look like they are going to call a 30-second timeout, so we'll just keep it here. Mustangs still leading 33-31 to with 4.52 to go here in the third period of play. So, so far in this third period has been the Aaron Stone show for the Elizabeth Cardinals as he has put six up on the board. For Elizabeth, McBride has hit a two and Joey Schneider with a two, but Schneider is out right now with an ankle sprain. We'll see if he uses up on it right now. The trainer from Elizabeth is looking at it. He has his shoe off right now, so he's trying to see if he can put weight on it. We're going to have him walk on it and see what needs to be done. Now the Cardinals get the ball in to Gavitt. Now to Boss. Back to Gavitt out high. Being guarded by Kimball. Gavitt all the way in and they're going to call a travel on Gavitt. Called it on the spin move. So Fort Morgan to take it. 33-31 with 4.40 to go here. Third period. Man-to-man -man defense for the Cardinals. Tate Kimball out on the high right wing. Tries to drive it in. Kicks it off to Bauer. Bauer drives it in. This shot is going to be off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Gertner. But there is going to be a foul. I believe that will be on Jacob Boss. That will be his first. Team first here in the second half. Nice position by Gertner as they get it into McBride. Gets it out on the right wing by two. Kimball up and good by McBride on the give and go. Nice job there. As Boss gets the ball down court, they look to get it into Stone. Stone picks up his dribble. Now to Boss as he drives right baseline. Kicks it out to Stone. Now to Basaki, but he is behind him. Now the pass up to Kimball. Now a three by uh, Bowers up and no good. Rebounded by Basaki as Yurich takes off down court. Steal in the backcourt as the uh, Mustangs take the ball away. Bauer now with the layup, and that is going to be up and good for Bauer. So we'll see. Have a timeout called here. 30 second timeout has been called by the Fort Morgan Mustangs. This Fort Morgan timeout is brought to you by Early Toyota East. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle, Early Toyota East in Fort Morgan will fit you into the car or truck of your choice. Serving all of Northeast Colorado, Early Toyota East. So Six-point lead here for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. 
as they have now outscored the Cardinals 8-6 to six here in this third period of play. Elizabeth two inbounds in the near court, but they have to go the length of the court to their basket now as Visaki goes. Ball is going to be tipped away and out to Gertner. Now to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball, his layup is going to be up and good. 39-31 on the steal by the Mustangs. Now it's going to be a kick ball. Almost taken away by McBride, but he did use his foot to kick that ball away. So Boss now to inbounds as he gets it into the backcourt to Urich. Being guarded by Kimball. Over on the left. Going to be taken away by the Mustangs again. Now taken back away by the Cardinals. And now they're going to call a foul on McBride after all of that. It will be three on Trey. First team foul on the Mustangs here in this second half of play. Each team with one team foul. So they get it into Gavitt. Gavitt is going to be up and no good, but rebounded by Stone. 39-33, six-point lead here for the Mustangs now as Tate Kimball brings it across half court, slows it down, waits for see if Misaki will come out and guard him. Now Misaki goes out. Kimball backs it back out. Now Misaki now they double him in the, as it goes into the back court. Tate Kimball now to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball from the left side up and no good. Rebounded by uh, Trey McBride. His shot up and no good. Now Gavitt takes it for the Cardinals as they get it down court with 2.28 to go. Knocked out of bounds, though, by the Mustangs. So the Cardinals will retain possession as they will inbounds right baseline of their basket. As Boss looks to get it in, and it's going to be a cross court and not touched, so it will be Fort Morgan ball. Nice job by Eric Kimball on the defense. We have Nate Gertner, Tate Kimball, Eric Kimball, T.J. Bauer, and Trey McBride into the game for the Mustang. You see Joy Schneider running back out of the locker room. Looks like he's uh, running on it pretty good, so we may see him uh, come back into the game. Bauer now to Tate Kimball. Back to Bauer out at the high wing now over to Tate Kimball. Gets it to Eric. Eric for a three from the left. is up and good for Eric Kimball. Nine-point lead, 42-33 with two minutes to go here, third period. Eight points on the night for Eric Kimball. That's his second three. Pass off the backboard and no good taken by Tate Kimball. Now to Gertner. Gertner slows it down. He gets it to McBride. Now back out to Tate Kimball with a minute 40 to go. Mustangs up nine. Eric Kimball with the spin move. To, they're going to have a hand foul. And Bauer shoots it after the whistle, but it will not count. And that will go against Godero, his second. So Tate Kimball to inbounds. Harris up in for Bauer. So you get it into Eric Kimball. A minute 35 to go. Mustangs up. The ball is going to be taken away by Visaki, but taken back by Kimball. As they get it to Gertner. Now to Huff, but he's going to get away from him and back to Stone. Now to Godero in the back court, back to Visaki, back to Stone, or back to uh, Boss. Excuse me. Now Godero to Immel. Immel underneath to Stone. He's going to go up for the bucket from the right side. So Harris Huff going to be knocked to the floor. There's going to be a foul called on the Cardinals. We'll see if that goes against see who they put that on. See if that goes on Stone or who that goes on. And that's going to be on Gautaro, his third. 
Shot was up and good for the Mustangs, 35-44. Now as the Cardinals take it down court, 40 seconds, they're going to kick it off into the left corner. Immel now with it in the paint, kicks it back out to Gottero. Underneath, there's going to be a three-second call on the Cardinals. So nice job there by the Mustangs. As they're up nine with 28.7 seconds to go. Nate Gertner gets the ball down court. We'll see if the Mustang try to slow this down. Not into Harris Huff's hands. Tate Kimball with the ball. Now they're going to have a foul called, and that will go against Boss. That will be his second. 15.7 seconds to go. Gertner will take a seat. Jesus Reyes into the game. Schneider is back into the game. His foot was on the line off the rim and no good with 10 seconds to go. So Schneider's foot feeling better. Seems to be working on it okay. Now it's going to be tipped. Let's see who they give that to. And it's tipped out of bounds by the Mustangs with 3.8 seconds to go. They will inbounds. The Cardinals will they get it into Stone. His shot is going to be up and no good at the buzzer. So at the end of three, the Mustangs up 44 to 35 on B106 and B106.com. Back here at Elizabeth High School, start the fourth period of play. The Mustangs up 44 to 35. Only one team foul called on the Mustangs. Only really only four on the Cardinals. But another turnover by Elizabeth as the Mustangs will take control here. Joey Schneider still into the game. Tate Kimball all the way down. His pass is going to be taken away, but Eric Kimball tracks it down in the back court. Now Tate Kimball, that's the pass, is going to try to get to Joey Schneider, but that was well off the backboard, taken by Urich. Now another turnover by the Cardinals as the pass goes deep into the corner and over the head of Boss. So they had a I don't know if they did, had a question there. Maybe oh they didn't, didn't turn the arrow for the possession arrow, I believe. So now Fort Morgan. Oh, they will save it. I don't know why the Elizabeth kid saved it, but he did. Eric Kimball from the left side. Up and good for Eric Kimball. 11 point lead now for the Mustangs. The jury takes it down now to Stone. Stone up and under is good. Stone averages 13.2 points a game. He is at 18 right now. Get it to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball drives it into the lane. Little jumper is going to be off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Bisaki as he gets it off to to uh, Boss. Now off to Yurik. Mustangs in there. Man-to-man defense as Yurik goes down the baseline. This shot is going to be up and no good. Nice rebound by Kimball as he gets position on Stone. Now there's going to be a reach foul and that will go on Stone. That's only his first. Team fifth here in the second half. Trey McBride comes in for Snyder. Mustang's doing a nice job here tonight. 46-37. Steve Kimball drives it all the way down. His shot's going to be blocked, but rebounded by uh, Trey McBride. Up and good by McBride. Nice job on the rebound and put back by Trey. As Yurik drives it down. Now it's going to be tipped and going to be taken by Trey McBride. He goes in for the layup. He is going to be fouled. Urich is going to foul a nice job here in the last couple of minutes by McBride. Because that will send him to the line to shoot two. And that foul will go on Urich, his third. So McBride on the air from the free throw lane is 64%. So we'll see if he can drain some here. And the first one is up and good for Trey. Stone and Gottero come in for the Cardinals with 6.17 to go. The Mustangs up 12, 
Next free throw up and also good by Trey McBride. Cardinal with the ball in their front court all the way. It's going to be kicked out and taken down, but it's going to be off of the hands of Ryan Schaefer. So nice job there by the Mustangs on their defense. Now Elizabeth with the full court presses. Tate Kimball gets it into Almanza. He gets it across half court. Nice screen by Trey McBride. Now there's going to be a foul called. That will go against Boss on the reach foul. So that will be three on Boss. 16 fouls on the seven now. So that will be a one and one. That will send Almanza to the line to shoot a one and one. Now he is only 24% from the free throw line. So this would be a good time to be 100%. That one's off the rim, no good. Tip back to Almanza at the line. His shot is going to be blocked out of bounds. So Fort Morgan to inbounds left of their basket baseline. T.J. Bauer to inbounds. Mustangs up 13, 50 to 37. So you get it into Tate or to Eric Kimball, but it's going to be off of Visaki and out of bounds, or excuse me, off of McBride and out of bounds. So Elizabeth to inbounds. 5:53 to go here. Fourth period of play as Boss gets it up court against Tate Kimball. Sean is going to be up and good for Boss, his first two points of the game. So Fort Morgan with. Oh, it's going to be off the hands of Almond and underneath to Visaki. And that layup is going to be up and good for Visaki. As they look to get Nate Gertner back into the game. He's going to be knocked out of bounds by Visaki. So Mustang's getting a little sloppy here with 5.24 to go. Up nine. As Almanza comes out, Nate Gertner comes back into the game for the Mustangs as they inbounds in front of their own bench. It's going to be lobbed into McBride. The shot is going to be off the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Immel. So he gets it off to Boss. Now Fort Morgan. See who that's off of. And that is off of Elizabeth. And out of bounds. Another turnover here by the Cardinals. Fort Morgan needs to take advantage of these turnovers. Bauer, a little jumper from the left side, is up and no good. Rebounded by Gautaro. She gets it up court, being guarded by Gertner. Now Mustangs try to do some trapping defense. Oh, nice job off of the hand. It was tipped by Tate Kimball, then off of the hands of Boss and out of bounds. So Fort Morgan here needs to take advantage of this. Of these turnovers. Still up nine, 450 to go. Trey McBride kicks it back out to Bauer. Bauer for a three, and that is off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Desaki. So I think they would coaches would probably like him to run a little more time off the clock before they end up settling for a, a deep three. So Gavitt goes down, but he is going to be foul on the drive. I don't believe he'll go to the line. That's only the second team foul on the Mustang. Bauer comes out and Joey Schneider comes in. So Elizabeth to inbounds left of their basket. So they get it in to Gavitt. Now Stone to Gavitt. Shot is going to be up and blocked by Kimball. Now Tate Kimball all the way. They're going to call an offensive foul on Tate Kimball as Schaefer had position. Only the second team foul on Tate Kimball, but the Mustangs missing some opportunities here to get some points on the board as they are up 50-41 to 41 with 4.18 to go. As Stone takes it pass for a three, and that is going to be up and good by Schaefer. Now a six-point lead to Fort the Mustangs. Up, they're going to call another offensive foul on Kimball. As he drives it to the bucket, they're going to call him for the personal foul. Coach Unrein not real happy with the calls. They're not, he doesn't think they're being set on the call. So we'll see. They're taking the full time out here, so we'll take one with them. 
50 to 44 Mustangs with, fit, with uh, a little over four minutes to go here on B106 and B106.com. Back here at uh, Elizabeth High School, the Cardinals take a deep three and is no good and out of bounds. Now Eric Kimball with a jumper from the lane is up and good for Kimball. Four points here in the fourth period for Kimball. Back up to an eight-point lead as they get the ball into the hands of Stone. Now to Gavitt. Gavitt's going to drive it down the right side. Little spin move. They're going to call him for the travel. So another turnover by the Cardinals. T.J. Bauer comes in for McBride. So Schneider gets it in to Eric Kimball. It's going to be off of Stone. And now they're going to discuss it here. I'm not sure this ref up here in midcourt had a better view, but we're going to see what they... The ref that was closest to it said it was off of... Uh, either Stone or Gavitt and out of bounds. Now they overturned the call. I don't know how they can how they can overturn that. One ref was clear up here at half court and the other one was standing right there and they ended up overturning it. So they look to get it in. They get it in. Now Schaefer out high. Schaefer drives it all the way down. His layup is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Joey Schneider. Now the fast break for the Mustangs as Eric Kimball takes it all the way up and good for the layup by Kimball. Ten point lead here now for the Mustangs as Stone's going to take it all the way in and he's going to be fouled on the play by Tate Kimball, I believe. And that will be four on Kimball. But that will send Stone to the line to shoot a pair. And this will be his first free throw attempt tonight. That first one is off the rim and does find the basket. Nine-point lead, 54-45. Almanza in for Kimball. They'll save him. They need him for the closer to the end of the game here. So Stone with shot number two off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Emil. Oh, nice block by Joy Schneider. Immel stands at 6'7". Schneider comes in at 6'4", I believe. But blocks that shot out of bounds. So Elizabeth to inbounds with 3.05 to go here. Fourth period. Mustangs up 54-45 to as they, they look to get it in. It's going to get it in to Gavitt out high. So he's going to try. Picks up his dribble. Now off to Schaefer. It's going to be stolen. We'll see who gets to it first. They're going to have a foul called on... Uh, Ryan Schaefer, nice hustle by both teams, but Eric Kimball to the ball first as he tipped it back. They're going to call Schaefer for the foul, his first. So Eric Kimball's to the line to shoot two. See if he can get this back to a double digit lead here. Eric Kimball on the year shoots 72%. That first one is no good, excuse me was a one and one as the Gavitt takes it all the way down and he is going to be fouled on the shot and gets the bucket and that foul I believe will go on Almanza I'll see that is who they put it on will be his second Gavitt to the line to shoot the end one. That is no good. Rebounded by Eric Kimball. He gets it out to Gertner. Gertner goes down, but no foul called as Almanza now gets it to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball for a three from deep. Up and good by Eric Kimball. Big shot by Eric Kimball as Stone gets it in. Ten point lead for the Mustangs with 2.26 to go. Urich now gets it into Gavitt. Gavis little jumper is going to be up and good. So Gertner with it in the back court as he gets it to Joey Schneider. Schneider being guarded by Visaki. Joey Schneider all the way down, up and under, but the shot is no good, but he has fouled on the shot. So that will send Joey Schneider to the line for his first two free throw attempts tonight. Mustangs up 8, 57, 49 with 2.07 to go fourth period 
to Joey Snyder. First free throw is up and good for Snyder. Nine points on the night for Joey as he's come back in after turning an ankle earlier on. But Tate Kimball back into the lineup now for the Mustangs as Brian Almanza goes out. Shot is going to be hits the front of the rim and goes in. So back up to a 10-point lead with 2.05 to go here in the contest. 49-59 to 49 for the Mustangs. Now Urich underneath the Gavit. Gavit's little jumper is going to be up and good. So Elizabeth will take a timeout, so we'll take one with them. 59-51 Mustangs with 154 to go here in the game on B106 and B106.com. You get the ball into Tate Kimball. Layup here from the left side is going to be up and good by Bauer. So nice job by the Mustangs to break that press. As Stone takes it down the left side, his layup is going to be up and good for Stone. Down to a minute 33 is Nate Gertner is going to be, should be an intentional foul, but I don't think they're going to be, as he grabbed his arm, that should be an intentional foul. As that is on Visaki, his second. So Gertner go to the line to shoot two, as that is 10 team fouls. Gertner earlier on was one of two. Minute 31 to go. The Mustangs up 51, 61, 53. Excuse me. That first shot is no good by Gertner. Let's see if he can get this next one in here. This is what uh, also up and no good. Rebounded by Gottero. He's being guarded by Urich now from a deep three from the left side is off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Bauer. So you get it into the hands of Kimball. Harry Kimball. Now to Tate Kimball. So you get it underneath the uh, Joey Schneider up and good for the bucket from the right side. Ten point lead again here by the Mustangs. Someone in the back court or in the front court, excuse me, by Eric Kimball. Then he throws it away. Tate wasn't looking. Now it's going to be taken away again by the Mustangs in the back court. As so he get it up to Joey Schneider. As the Mustangs up now under a minute, up 10, 63-53. Eric Kimball now with it. Holding out high against Stone. Now Urich comes after him, and that is going to be a foul on Urich. So that's a, probably the best free throw shooter that Fort Morgan can send to the line right now. Eric Kimball will shoot two. And that foul was on Urich, his fourth. So the Mustangs freeze first free throw hits the front of the rim and goes in for Kimball. This will be a big win here for the Fort, Mar- Fort Morgan Mustangs now as they are up 11, 64-53 with 44.5 seconds to go. Eric Kimball's next shot up and no good. As Stone now brings it up court underneath though to Urich. His shot is up and good as he was left alone at the far end. Now to Kimball to Gertner. Now Stone with the foul. He fouls Gertner. Nice job of for Stone though to hold up Gertner. So he didn't fall to the floor. So Nate Gertner, where he just missed a pair, will need to try to sink a couple of them here. 31.2 seconds. That one is off the back of the rim and no good. Mustangs still up 9, 64 55. Mustangs have cleared the lane all down at the defensive end of the floor. Next shot is up and good by Gertner. So a 10 point lead, 30 seconds and counting here with Gavitt. Yurich now into the left corner. Now to Gavitt. See bowls his way in, up and no good. Rebounded by Joey Schneider. Now into the hands of Kimball. Down to 17 seconds now into the hands of Tate Kimball. Look, Mustangs are going to win this thing. Now they're going to have a foul called on the far side. We'll see if that's going to go against Gottero. No, they're going to put that on Yurik. That will be five on Yurik. The Mustangs up 10 with 12.4 seconds to go. Tate Kimball to the line to shoot two. He is one of two so far tonight. Joey Schneider and Nate Gertner come out. Drew Gerken 
comes in for the Mustangs. And I believe that may be Connor Shaver that has come into the game also for the Mustangs. So Tate Kimball misses the first. He will get the second. That free throw is up and also off the rim and no good. Gavitt now with possession. His layup is going to be up and no good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up and in for the deuce. We're down to two seconds. The Mustangs don't have to throw the ball in. Nice job here by the Fort Morgan Mustangs as they win this 65-57. to They'll go 4-1 and one here in league. We will be back with the post-game show after three minutes on B106 and B106.com. Back here at the end of the game, the Fort Morgan Mustang boys win at 65-57. to This Mustang, Fort Morgan Mustangs post-game show is brought to you by Morgan Community College. Find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. Visit MCC online at www.morgancc.edu or stop by the campus for a personal advising session. MCC, here to help you imagine your possibilities, believe in yourself, and achieve your goals. So a nice victory here for the Mustangs as they do go 4-1 and one now in the league. They will be uh, in second place as Vista Peak is undefeated right now uh, in league play. Scoring for the Elizabeth Cardinals with Vasaki with 3, Boss with 2, Schaefer with 3, Urich with 3, and Stone and Gavitt each with 21, and Immel with four. Leading the way for the Fort Morgan Mustangs tonight is Eric Kimball with 18. As he hits 11 points in that fourth period of play. Uh, next for the Fort Morgan Mustangs is Joy Schneider with 12, Tate Kimball with 11, T.J. Bauer with nine, uh, Trey McBride with eight, uh, Reyes with three, and Gertner and Huff each with a bucket with two points for the 65 points for the Mustangs. The turnovers tonight for the Mustangs, a uh, pretty good job. They only turned it over four, uh, 14 times. Uh, had six at halftime. They had four in the uh, fourth period, uh, third period of play, and another four in the fourth period. So nice job on the, by the Mustangs as opposed to what the Cardinals did. They turned it over 25 times, and they did that. They had uh, eight of them in the fourth period and also eight in the third period. The Mustangs were outscored in the, uh, or not outscored, <laughs> they were out-rebounded by a, a number of 35 to 24. But the uh, they got the rebounds when they needed them and got the turnovers and then did take advantage of it uh, for the Fort Morgan Mustangs as they led the whole way. They got out to an early six to nothing lead. Uh, they ended that first period of play 15 to 12. Halftime it was 29 to 23. At the end of the third period, 44 to 35. And then they ended this game 65 to 57. So a nice job by the Fort Morgan Mustangs. We're gonna take another break and be back with more of the post game show and then get ready for the girls game on B106 and B106.com. Back here at Elizabeth High School where the Fort Morgan boys have just defeated the Elizabeth Cardinals 65-57. to Free throws in the second half. The Fort Morgan Mustangs did a nice job um, defensively as the Cardinals only went to the line. They were one of three in the uh, second half of play from the free throw line. So nice defensive job by the Mustangs without fouling. The Mustangs overall were 12 of 22 for 55 percent. The Cardinals were 10 of 17 for 59 percent tonight from the free throw line. And um, nobody took a, a I see McBride was 2 of 2 from the free throw line. Gertner was only uh, 2 of 6. Tate Kimball uh, was only one of four where he is usually real good from the free throw line, just off a little bit tonight. Schneider was two of two, and Eric Kimball was three of five for the Mustangs from the charity line tonight. But the Mustangs did what they had to is 
Harry Kimball scores 11 points in that fourth period of play. And that's usually when he comes, uh, does his best. In crunch time, he'll come through there and put a bunch of points up on the board for the Mustangs. And he hit a big three down the stretch there uh, to help the Mustangs win this contest tonight. So I think we're going to go ahead and take one more break and then be back with some stats and information on the girls as they will get ready to play here in about five or six minutes here on B106 and B106.com. <laughs> 